Hi guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the Magic at Your Door March box unboxing. And so I've already cut it open. As you can see, the dude is uh, dressed for St. Patrick's Day. So he's carrying the Irish flag and wearing a leprechaun hat and spraying shamrocks everywhere. All right, we're gonna open it up on the top. Ah, okay. It says, don't skip April. The dude will be celebrating his second birthday in April, and there may just be some special surprises. Ooh, ah. That sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for that. Also, the new big thing that they offer is a create your own magic box. Um, so previously, everything, you could order magic boxes, but it was a matter of putting in your preferences, and then you would get things that fell within the realm of your preferences, but you couldn't pick specific items. Um, however, they have gone to offering um, magic boxes where you can pick from a drop-down menu of multiple items per category, and then you actually get to pick exactly what you want. So if you're super picky and not a big fan of surprises, that would be the perfect way for you to get some awesome Disney merchandise without running the risk of getting something that you're not going to like. All right. Oh, I can see it right inside here. Yay, I'm so excited. I really hoped I was going to get these. Okay. You see that? You see that little, that little bit right under there? You know what that is? That's the small world ears. I'm so excited. Yay! Yay! Awesome! Oh, and they're so pretty! Oh, look at them! They're so pretty! Oh! Okay, so first off, you've got the, the nice big puffy bow in the center, and that's got the Mary Blair artwork. You've got the hippo, who's my favorite. And then you've got the beef eater, and the goat on the mountaintop, and it says... Aloha, and you've got the little Japanese girl with the fan, and let's see, what else can I see here? It's hard to do this backwards in the camera, and then you've also got the elephant, and the koala, and the sun, and then it says, you've got the, you've got the clock face over here, and then it says, hello, and then on the back it says, goodbye. And it's pink on the side and sort of like a teal on the underband. All right. I love these. I'm putting them on right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. These are amazing. Best thing ever. Yay. Okay. So, now that we've gotten those out of the top of the box, we're going to pull a giant handful of packing paper out, and it's very festively themed. It's white and red with some silver. Look what I got. Oh, oh I got something from Goofy's Candy Company. We got Mickey Jelly Candies. Oh boy. So this is the first month that Magic at Your Door has been sending out food items in their boxes. Um, and it sounds like it's been sort of a mixed bag for them. I've heard a bunch of folks in, in warmer states saying that their jellies had, had melted in shipping and come as one giant jelly. But mine are actually, mine are, mine are maintaining their structural integrity as multiple small pieces of jelly rather than one massive jelly blob. So that's good. Looking forward to eating those. They look very tasty. All right. Oh, I see bubble wrap. I see bubble wrap in boxes, and oh, I'm very excited. Ooh, 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 oh, awesome. It's a new phone case, and it's got Donald Duck on it. I love Donald Duck. This is great. Oh, shoot, that reminds me. Prices for stuff. Um, ears, $27.99. Gummy candy. Oh, right, it was a freebie. That's what it was, it was a freebie because I posted on Instagram my unboxing haul, like you do, for Magic at Your Door. And so the phone case... I'm not actually seeing a price for the phone case. I'm gonna guess it's probably 
like a, a, a 24 99 at least. The phone cases tend to be ridiculously expensive. Um, but I really like this. That's very cool. All right. Oh, so many good things in here. I just can't, I can't decide what to open up next. All right, I'm going to pull out some more packing paper. All right, we're going to start with the Sum Sum set. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and, and Daisy. Oh, okay. All right, this is really adorable. So for St. Patrick's Day, everyone got the Donald and Daisy Irish Sum Sums in their boxes. And I love the packaging on this. So they're sitting, they're sitting in a, in a little medieval castle. But then look at this. Daisy, Daisy has the Irish dancer hair. She's got the ringlets that they always wear for that. That's, that's really cute. And then Donald has like a little, there we go. I suppose I could put it like closer up instead of making you guys look at my face this whole time. Um, yeah, so Daisy's got little Irish dancer hair and it looks like her outfit is based off of the the Celtic knot patterns that the Irish dancers use for their for their paneled skirts. So that's very cute. And then Donald has his little Tam O'Shanter on and is wearing his tartan kilt, although Ireland. But anyway, those are adorable. Guys, I can't decide. I've got the silver pouch and I've got the giant thing in bubble wrap. And I think that's it in the box. All right, I'm gonna go with the silver pouch first. Let's do the silver pouch. I know everyone usually leaves it for last, but I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm going to break free, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, first, no breaking free. Uh, $12.95 for the Tsum Tsums. Okay. These are pretty cool. So these are socks, and the socks, I know they put them, are either $13.99 or $14.99, and these are like sublimation printed, and they're just covered with tons and tons of Disney characters. So and I think it's even different ones on each side of the socks. So you've got Elliot from Pete's Dragon, you've got... Uh, Pascal and Olaf and Chip and Sebastian and Flounder and the little elephant from Jungle Book and Cusco and uh, what's his face from Oliver and Company and Miko and Genie and uh, the, the fox and the hound. I almost said the hawks and the found. Um, and uh, Dopey. And a boo. And then on the other side, or wait, wait, no, is this on the other sock? No, it's just on the other, wait, they're totally different. Okay, all right. So this is the back side of that first sock. And you've got a lot of villains. So you've got Magic Mirror, you've got Lady Tremaine, Ursula, Pain and Panic, uh, Br'er Bear, uh, Flotsam and Jetsam, Radigan, King Candy, LeFou, Mad Madam Mim, Cy and Am, uh, King of Hearts, Mr. Smee, Iago, and I can't tell who that is because I can't see his head. Uh, oh, and then you got the Beagle Boys. Oh, it's the Big Bed Wolf. Okay. That's pretty epic. And oh, and Cruella de Vil over there. And then on the other sock... you've got a different set of villains. So you've got the evil stepsisters, you've got King John, Mother Gothel, um, Kronk, Queen of Hearts, Scar, Evil Queen as the Hag, Hades, Br'er Fox, Ka, Captain Hook, Lucifer, And I thought I saw Evil Queen somewhere, but I'm not seeing her anymore. No, I guess I was just hallucinating. Okay, and then on the back side of that sock, <laughs> you've got, I don't know, sort of maybe chaotic neutral over here, because you've got Mad Hatter, Chippendale, Stitch, 
Hercules, Pinocchio, Thumper, Cheshire Cat, Peter Pan, Simba, the goldfish. Oh, the goldfish from Pinocchio. I don't remember her name right now. Um, Br'er Rabbit, Tinkerbell, Robin Hood, Bambi. So this is this is a huge assortment of folks. These are some very busy socks. Um, and I also got to say, if it weren't for the fact that the background colors to each side match up, it would be very difficult to tell whether you had picked a matching pair of socks or not when you were folding these back up after the laundry because they don't, they don't actually strictly match per se. All right. But they're cool and they look comfortable. I feel like I got sort of sidetracked by identifying all the characters there. Okay. Let's see what we- oh! Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh! Surprise! There's more stuff at the bottom! Okay. Alright. I can get behind this. Alright, let's see... Okay, so this is in one of the- one of the plastic wrap bags. Alright, hang on. This is gonna get noisy for a sec here. Alright. It's a really adorable Dumbo emoji mug. F shoot! Bambi! I haven't finished my coffee yet today. That's like my only excuse. Yeah. Bambi. Oh, and it's got butterflies on the inside. Aww. That's really cute. So you got Bambi with a, with a butterfly on his nose. And then you got smiling Bambi on the other side. That's really adorable. I feel like this would be the perfect size for having like a little like tea party with someone. This is very cute. It is also $22.99. And now we get to go to the super secret thing down at the bottom here that I almost missed. Awesome. So it's, it's a mini spatula set. And it's a regular size spatula set also. Get it? Get it? Mini? Because it's the tiny... And anyway, it's got mini Mouse on it. Yeah. Um, so you've got mini Mouse with a, an ice cream bar and a polka dot heart and the castle and ears. And that's a tiny little spatula for scraping bowls. And then you have the mini Mouse bows and polka dots. And a handy dandy equivalency guide. So you can see that for one cup is eight fluid ounces is also 16 tablespoons, 48 teaspoons, or 237 milliliters. Although honestly we usually round that one up to 240 when we're doing intake and output in the hospital. Um, and then so on and so forth. I had seen a similar set of these which I was lovingly calling the millennial spatulas because they included that, uh, that information that, uh, that most previous generations would have learned in home ec or had in the front of their cookbooks, but which we don't anymore. And so it's really nice to have a reference guide like this. And these are $19.99. Looks like a good spatula. It's nice and sturdy, so that's always good. I love the curved edge for, for getting the inside of the bowls, and I, I like having the small one. This is going to be useful for, for oh shoot, as I knock the box off of the desk with my elbow, for getting the, uh, the insides of, of mugs and stuff clean, like when you're, if you, if you do like the, uh, if you mix small quantities in smaller containers. So I think that's it. I'm just going to check through all the rest of this packing paper. All right. That's it. That was an awesome box. Favorite item? Ears. These are epic. I love these ears. I am super happy with these ears. I may or may not take them off. I may just wear them forever. Who knows? I mean, why not? Um, I also like that the pink on the sides matches the pink of my hair. Yeah. Um, second favorite item? Everything was really good. I have to say, I really, I like the detail of the butterflies on the inside of the Bambi mug. 
I think I'm gonna use those use this mug more often just because it has that adorable little detail on it um, but in terms of things that are that are actually gonna get used around the house spatulas yep yep you can always use spatulas um, the socks are pretty cool thank you for the candy Mike and uh, I actually I, I have to think about the phone case I may or may not I may or may not swap that one out right now the phone case that I'm currently using is actually one that I got last year in a Magic at Your Door box. Um, and it's, as you can see from, from the wear lines, it's it's three-dimensional and and I like it because it's really pretty and I feel like the wear has sort of added some, some depth to it. Um, but it's also a little bit of a, of a pain sometimes because it's difficult to hit the, the side buttons and it's it's getting a little grungy after being used for about a year, so I might I might swap out to the new case. I have to think about it. I have to think about it. Um, but that's that. If you get magic at your door, drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was that you got this month. Let me know if you do unboxings. I love watching other people's unboxings. There's so much different stuff that people get. It's really a lot of fun. Um, and other than that, I should have Tokyo Kawaii Club unboxings coming pretty soon. My February box got sent back to Japan because for some reason there was a mix-up with the address, although we're not totally sure what the mix-up was because the address didn't change. Um, so Mike, the curator for Tokyo Kawaii Club, is taking care of getting that sent back out to me. So hopefully I will actually have two months worth of Tokyo Kawaii Club to unbox pretty soon. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it for me. So hit the thumbs up button. Give me a like, please. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I do unboxing videos. Woo! Super exciting. Anyway, that's it for this time. I'll see you guys later. Bye!